Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to review Artist Loft Canvas. Now, Artist Loft is the Michaels brand um, of products. And Michaels is just a craft store. If you've never been to one or you don't have access to one, Michaels is a craft store here in the U.S. I don't know if they're elsewhere, but they have different lines of canvas. And in another video, I'm going to do another video talking about different other brands because I only have a few here in my house, um, but I have used multiple different brands. So I'm going to talk about that in another video. So for this video, we're just going to talk about specifically uh, Artist Loft and the different tiers of canvas that they have. So basically with Artist Loft, there's four tiers of canvas that you can get. And if you use Michaels, then, um, you know, if you have a Michaels near you, then you can get access to these. However, some of these other stores, these other craft stores or companies have different tiers as well. So I'm going to give you a couple of things to kind of look for um, with these canvas so that you kind of have an idea uh, going into it. So even if you don't go to Michaels for your craft supplies and you go elsewhere to get canvas, uh, the things that I'm going to talk about in this video can kind of apply to those things. So this may actually still be helpful for you. So let's come back to this line of canvas. So Michaels actually has four tiers of canvas. They have super value and then they have uh, student grade and then they have professional staple back and then they have professional gallery wrapped gallery wrapped. Um, and so we're going to go through kind of the difference and we're going to start with the super value. So here is a super value canvas. These are the super value canvas. So it looks like this and essentially they're stapled back um, and they're actually rounded. So there's a couple of things to kind of look at for canvas. Okay. So I would say that there's, there's four main things to kind of look at when you're looking to buy canvas, uh, stretched canvas that is. Now, if you're buying rolled canvas, then this doesn't apply to it. But if you're buying stretched canvas, which is canvas that's already on a frame, uh, there's a few things to kind of look for. So the first thing is how it's done in the back. Now, this really doesn't matter. Um, a lot of artists like only want professional ones where it's like got the little, uh, it's got the little elastic like bead in there or whatever. Um, I don't know what you would call it, but um, a lot of people, oh, a spline. It's called a spline. Um, so a lot of artists want that, but honestly, people are not really looking at the back of your canvas and even professional artists that I know, they just, they wrap their own canvas and they just staple it on the back. So it's it, this, this part of it is really not that big a deal. So stapled back, or if it has a spline or if it's, um, you know, stapled on the side, it really doesn't matter. What I would say is I wouldn't really go with stapled sides because it's kind of, you can kind of see the staples. Um, so stapled back is really the biggest thing. Now that's most canvas. However, um, there are some brands that use the spline or they'll they'll staple it on the side. I'm gonna say that doesn't matter a whole lot. So it doesn't matter if, I, if it has a spline or if it's stapled back. Now the, the um, super value canvas from Michaels is stapled back. Again, perfectly fine. Another thing to kind of look at when you're looking at canvas, and I'm gonna talk about this in the other video as well, um, is the, uh, it's, it's this edge right here. And I, I know there's a name for it, but the, it's a beveled edge. Uh, so there's a beveled edge right here and you can't really see it, but if I push on the corner, obviously it's tight, right? It, there's no sinking. But if I push on the canvas, you can see that it sinks down. So if I push in here, you can see that you, you can see the impression I'm making just by the warping of the canvas. But if I push right here, you can tell there's a difference here as there is here because this edge right here is beveled. So what that means is that there's a little tiny ridge at the edge of the canvas, the frame, that actually pushes this out. That's why it's suspended over the middle because it's tightened over those beveled edges. Well, here's the thing. If you buy cheap canvas, sometimes they don't have that beveled edge and it's just flat so it's it's almost as if you took this flat side of the canvas and just stretched the canvas over it for the front now i've actually gotten canvas like that i've uh i'm going to show you a canvas actually right here which i really love this this painting right but this has no beveled edge so right here you can see that i'm pushing it's, it's as a flat, all it's flat all the way across, meaning they just took this canvas and stretched it across a flat piece of 
uh, wood. So it, almost as if you just made a wooden box with four pieces of pine or whatever, and then you just stretch the canvas over it. The, these dogs are being annoying. Uh, sorry, you're gonna hear barking. Just gonna leave it in. Okay, so anytime a dog goes by, I swear they just they go crazy. Okay, anyway, so one thing to look for in canvas is you want that beveled edge because the problem with buying canvas that does not have this beveled edge is that ghosting can occur. And what that is, is that that is where the, the canvas actually sinks in over time because of the weight of the, the paint. And so you start to see this flat edge all the way around the inside of the painting. And yes, I have had paintings where that has happened because I bought cheaper canvas. So something to look out for. Now, let's come back to the Michaels canvas and, you know, talk about that. So honestly, even this super value canvas has that. So perfectly fine again. Next, the the other thing to kind of look for is the, the surface, the gessoed surface to see, um, you know, is it thinly gessoed? Is it, um, you know, how like good is this this quality, the canvas itself. Um, so the canvas itself is a gesso. So yes, I mean, obviously they're already gesso, so you don't have to worry about that. You could start painting on it right away. However, I will say on the, on the value canvases, it is kind of thin. And the issue with that is that the paint doesn't stick to it as well as it would say a more heavily gessoed surface. So it's very, it's a very thin layer of gesso. Um, and if you cover it with enough paint, you can't see that anyway. So that's not really that big a deal. Um, and it's just something to kind of notice that when you get into some of these heavier ones uh, or the higher quality, they're actually a little thicker. The gesso is a little thicker. So it actually pulls the paint and you don't see as much of the grain. Again, really not an issue if you paint your background first you usually can't tell. The last thing to kind of look for uh, when you're looking at canvas is the frame itself. So these being, you know, the uh, the cheaper canvas, they're only um, quarter inch. So instead of being like an inch and a half, uh, sorry, three quarters inch. So they're three quarters of an inch thick. Now, more professional canvases would be one and a half inches. So this painting right here is one and a half inches. And these, these value ones, are only three quarters of an inch. Some people go back and forth on whether or not that's okay, that's a appropriate, you know, should you use these thinner ones? Uh, should you only use thicker ones? I've seen artists only use one and a half inch or even two inch uh, canvas, which is super thick. And just to show you the difference, so, this is a one and a half, and then this is two three quarters. So you can see that they're the same thickness because two of these is one of these. So um, it's up to you. I mean, whether or not you use three quarter inch or one inch or one and a half or two inch, it's all dependent on what you want to use. That's all preference. I know professional artists who do this full time and they just use three quarter inch paintings for, for most of their paintings. However, one thing to work, watch out for, and this is kind of the point I wanted to get to, is that if you use three quarter inch on larger paintings, you have a higher chance of them warping. I've had issues where I bought canvas and they were three quarter inch and they were like two by three feet or two by four feet or three by four feet and they were warped and they, they warped so easily because it's so thin. That's just something to look out for. That could also be due to uh, the materials used. So if it's a better quality wood, it, it probably warps less. Again, it's it's totally up to you. I've seen other artists on like Saatchi Art and they do four or five or six foot paintings on this three quarter inch um, frame. But again, it depends on what you're trying to do. So now let's come back to the Michaels one. I know I keep kind of derailing uh, into just canvas in general, but I like talking about canvas and I probably should have saved a lot of this for the other video, but I'll recap on that one briefly. Anyway, coming back. So let's try to get through this. So super value canvas. Ultimately, what I would say is that it's not bad for the price. However, I would keep them small. So I use these for small paintings because I don't want them to warp. 
Um, and also, I mean, people who are buying smaller paintings probably aren't going to spend as much money. So if I'm making a smaller painting, I do tend to use kind of the value canvas because it's not bad for what you get, honestly, for the price of the size of the canvas. Usually, I you can't get these super value ones much bigger than 20, 24 inches. So it really doesn't matter. So I actually don't mind these, okay? These uh, super value uh, packs or whatever. All right, so next is... Uh, we're going to move on to the next one up, which is the student grade. So I'm going to show you a canvas that is the student grade. This is their level one canvas. So this is like super value is almost like zero. And the next one up is the value um, or like the student grade. This is it. Now, again, it's the you've got the staple back um, and then the you have the this cross beam here and it does have the beveled edge so you're fine on that um now ultimately this canvas i don't mind again for smaller pieces the problem is is that this size this is like a two two foot by four foot painting and i've had these warp all the time okay so these these student grade canvases um i've just had issues with anything beyond like two by three feet. I've had some two by three feet that were okay. And then I could just put them on the wall and then they kind of warp over time back to straight. But anything beyond that, I would not, I generally don't buy these um, student grade ones in large sizes because they just warp so easily. Um, uh, and they're very thin. So because of that, and because I believe the wood quality is very bad, like they just have a tendency to warp. And that's my biggest gripe about this type of painting or this this type of canvas also these it, the trusses kind of go along with that like i've had these these trusses themselves be warped so honestly this the student grade is exactly that it's for learning for practicing for you know just trying it out to to kind of learn uh the difference one thing that's interesting about those is that they have a very flat edge um on the on the end so it's still beveled but it's a it's like a flat edge as opposed to um the the other ones the cam the value ones which are kind of like a rounded edge well i think that's kind of interesting um it, it helps to square out the painting so when you're looking at it, it you know you get a nice clean edge um so i don't mind that but ultimately what i I, I don't like those ones for larger paintings. I just don't like buying those ones pretty much in general. So I actually will go super value or level two and up. Um, I actually usually avoid level one unless I'm testing techniques um, and they're on sale or something very cheap. It's exactly what you, what you would expect. It, it's student grade because it's for learning. So those canvas are not, they're just not well put together. The gesso is very thin. Um, and they just are, they're susceptible to warping. So I don't really like the level one ones. I actually avoid them. So I will go the level, the super value for very small ones or for like two feet and under. I'll actually just do super value because I can actually get those usually cheaper than the level one. So if I'm already going to use lower quality ones, I may as well just pay less money when I actually have had no issues with the super value ones because they're smaller. Um, and then you can get like two or four in one pack as opposed to just buy one single one of the level one, which are both technically uh, student grade. So, I mean, it's, it's totally preference, but I usually avoid the level one um, materials. But for my kids or for practicing techniques, if I'm just going to dispose of it anyway, then I'll do it. But I don't use it anymore for uh, actual paintings that, that I intend to sell. Uh, next is level two. So level two is technically professional. So uh, you can see that it's got like their thing, right? Artist loft, whatever, uh, gallery wrapped. So gallery wrapped, these ones, as opposed to level one and super value, have the spline. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Instead of being stapled, it has a spline. It kind of makes it seem a little more professional because it, it doesn't look as tacky because there's no staples. Now, honestly, I'm telling you, people don't really look at the back of the painting, so it doesn't matter if it has staples or splines. It's totally up to you. Um, however, since you're already buying the canvas, if you're going to get level two, this one has a spline. It's nice and clean. Now, another thing that I like about these ones is 
they they do seem to be a little bit higher quality in the wood. So you can kind of see because it, this wood just it looks cleaner than the wood from you know say this one which looks kind of warped and and like lower quality. It's probably all the same. I honestly don't know. Um, however, it being smaller, it it does have this nice kind of like it does have this the center bar. Um, honestly. It, when it comes to the paintings, there's they kind of do one of two things. They'll do the, the corner braces or they'll do the sidebar. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I prefer the corner braces because I feel like it's a, it's a little more stable that way. However, I mean, again, for this, um, perfectly fine. So I actually like level two quite a bit. Um, if I'm doing smaller paintings, generally what I do is if I'm doing smaller paintings, I'll do the three quarter inch. Okay, so... Um, I'll do the thinner canvas for smaller paintings, usually like two foot or usually three foot and under. I'll do, um, these ones because I'm like, well, you're going to put it up on the wall anyway, and it's not going to take up a lot of room. So usually I'll do, um, these three quarter inch for three foot and under. Now there are exceptions, of course. Um, but if I'm going to do a small painting anyway, then I usually just do a thinner painting. But when I start getting into bigger ones like these, which is like 30 inches by 40 inches or three foot by three foot, then I start kind of getting into the, the thicker canvas, which is the level three. So I'm going to come back to that in just a second. So ultimately, level two, I actually have had no issues with. Um, pretty decent. They can still warp, so let's not pretend like they can't. Um, but they are better put together than the level one, which is the student grade. So these ones I actually do use for uh, the smaller paintings if I'm not, you know, using the value ones. The super value ones tend to only go up to like 20 inches or 24. These ones actually will go up to big sizes. So I kind of use these for like my medium size paintings. So super value for small, uh, level two for medium, and then the level three, which is the professional grade, um, for the large paintings. Okay, so we're gonna get to that now. Okay, so uh, level two, I actually don't mind. I, I do use those ones quite a bit for the medium sized painting. All right, so here's where we get to the last one. This is level three. Now it's got paint all over it, I know. But, uh, so first off, we've got the corner braces. They're pretty solid. You can hear it. Um, very little warping with these. Again, you can have warping with any canvas, uh, any stretched canvas, you can have warping with any company. Uh, as far as I've seen, really, I I don't see why they can't warp just because of, even if they're kiln dried wood, it still could be susceptible to warping. Now, these are less likely to warp. And another thing is that they have the little, um, the little pockets for the canvas keys. So if if you noticed on this other one, I had canvas keys in there. A canvas key, if you don't know, it just basically um, tightens the canvas. So it kind of helps with um, sagging and a little bit of the warping. It only helps so much though. So, you know, just know that. Anyway, coming back to level three. Yeah, I, I use level three all the time. Level three is the thicker canvas. It's one and a half inch. I like using it on bigger paintings because if you're already doing a big painting, why not make it imposing, right? No, but it, it just looks good. It looks cleaner to have a thicker painting for a large, you know, if you're doing a large painting, to have that thicker uh, edge, I think it just looks more professional. But also, again, it, it's less likely to warp because it's so much, um, it's so much sturdier. So, and then as far as the gesso goes, it is a little bit thicker. Um, I have noticed that it's just like a little bit thicker. So it adheres to the paint or it pulls it a little bit more. So that's kind of nice as well. It does, of course, have the beveled edges. So it also kind of keeps it, you know, on there. So it, it keeps the canvas off of the frame. So uh, there's that. So ultimately, um, and then lastly, it's got the spline. So again, it it's just more professional and I really haven't had any issues with the level three canvas. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's like the whole uh, video in a nutshell. Super value canvas, I actually do use for small paintings. Level one, I try to avoid because I've had too many issues with. Um, I've gotten some good paintings on them, but that doesn't change the fact that they tend to warp. So you know what I mean? Uh, 
Level two, I do use for medium sized paintings. And then the level three, the, the thicker ones, I use for the bigger jam, uh, the bigger paintings. So that's pretty much it. Um, that is kind of like my review for the Artist Loft canvas. I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna talk about some other brands that I've used, um, including Windsor Newton, Arteza, uh, Blick and Edge. And uh, we'll kind of go over that and, and talk about those ones in the next one. Uh, ultimately, Michaels does have like a website. So if you ever wanted to order some, you could check out their website. I think it's just michaels.com. But if you don't wanna use that or they're not available or you have your favorite brand, um, then pretty much everything else is on either Blick or Amazon, which is the two that I recommend. There are links in the description area if you want to use either Blick or Amazon to buy Canvas. It actually helps me if you use the links and it's at no cost to you. They are affiliate links, but that's totally your call. Um, just if you want to help support the channel. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I will cover those other brands in the next video. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. See you then.